gotta say, man, being on the the bad side, sort of, on, of the uh, Daenerys, is kind of scary. Like in the in the series, I always laughed when she did that to other people. But when you're confronted by it yourself, you're like, "Holy crap! She's actually terrifying." All right, so uh, happy family reunion we got over here. You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. Oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? Oh, what's his name again? Carter? I think Carter, the potato fucker. We're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? I do. Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the. Hush, Cotter! I'm asking fish face here. <laughs> fish face? Sylvie. Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, Mr. Cotter for a crow. Crow? Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed. Yeah, that's out of hand. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. She's a ruthless woman. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlings. Finn's probably. You want to go back, Finn? Well, go ahead. No one's stopping you. You know I can't do that. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. All right. You should listen to him. Relationships are strained at the moment. But nothing I can't the fix. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. Without... You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. Then maybe you shouldn't you have fucking taken me here. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. You know what? Fuck all of you. I don't need any of you. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going solo. Fucking Carter. Can't I just walk away? No? Wildling totem. Don't know why you'd want this around. I'm guessing that we're gonna have to try and talk with the sister or something. Got it. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. 
I'm sorry. You and your sister, you uh you don't look much alike. The hair colour. The white hair and I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The moon, rest moon. of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse. Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. I don't know what that means. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are assholes. <laughs> Fair enough. Good enough reason. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. I got kicked out. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't gonna make it. Where's your mother now? <laughs> I don't know. Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wow. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. Good? I left that night when I heard. Holy shit. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrid. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. So I'm guessing that we're just gonna have to try and convince Sylvie. Sylvie's hut. Let's look inside. Family token? It's like a polar bear. I wonder if her mother gave her that. Spears. Sketches? Little moon? moon. That's a spider, that's a fish, and that's a polar bear, I think. Or just a regular bear. And that's a little moon. Alright, I don't think this. Oh, a drink. Give me that. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Oh, the disgusting. We could drink it. I don't want to, though. Nope. We're just gonna back out. Alright, Finn. I know you may not like me right now, but I kind of need allies. What are you allies. doing over here? It's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. We've got next to nothing to eat. Cotter's a bloody liar. And now we've got his freak sister to worry about. Well, things could be worse. How? You know could what? Could be dead. I'd rather warm my ass next to a fucking wildling to talk to you any longer. At least we got him to sit near the fire. Oh, look at the cutie little rabbit. It's chow time. Whoa! Fucking hell. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. I could have screened Hakuna Matata. Never met a crow before. Sorry, I almost killed you. Never met a Disney princess before I've either. I've done you a favor, though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats, and ice spiders. Ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't frighten our dinner away. Alright, let's go. Bullseye Shit. woman. Oh, mind if I try? I'm just gonna mind if I give her a shot. Go ahead. You know how show to her how that. it's done. 
course. You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? They call me Legolas, bitch. I never miss. In before I miss. Oh god. Click and hold drawback to release fire. Oh god. Where did he go? You. I never miss. <laughs> he was too fast! No. I didn't even shoot, so technically I didn't miss, right? Come on. Alright, let's go. It's out there, playing in the open. BAM! Headshot, motherfucker! What did I tell you, huh? It's not much, but it'll last us. You're not half bad with a bow. Could come in handy. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I do. I sympathize with you. I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You, you know come something with us, about protect. it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. Please. A few years back, one of the Ice River clan set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they liked it so much there that they stayed. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked <laughs> it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were... Damn it! <gasps> Oh no, please don't tell me Finn. What the fuck? Oh, thank god. What the hell is Look that? Out! A giant? A white walker, holy crap. This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But <laughs> one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. Maybe if we'll find Tyrion. You can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. No, Don't expect to charm yet. Them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Unleash the beast! <laughs> the dog is just like, oh, casually walking around with a human hand. Oh, it's 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 uh, lunchtime. I'm just gonna grab one of the hands over here. You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Russia. He's there hugging his flask. Let's climb the stairs. Look at this. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. <laughs> oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. 
Or fear. You're really any highborn pricks of lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they right, should see go a familiar face first. If they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can, but not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. Calm down, Cuba. One, two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles. I for didn't him. say it like that. Fight with me, not. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down, fat man. Like one wrong step and we're dead. Do we just get closer? I don't even know where we're supposed to go. Excuse me. Coming through. Come on. <coughs> Holy crap! Alright, calm down. Calm your tits. <laughs> this shit is brutal, man. I'm coming, Breska. Alright, alright, stop pushing me around. Well, hello there. Amaya! Take her! What? You must want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. Wait, 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 wait. I'm with her. Your friend, Beska, said you two were all partners. Your friend made a big mistake. Did she know? Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Leave her alone! I don't care what your history is. Beska's the most loyal friend I've ever had. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> I'm guessing he's the beast? Speech time. My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? The life you've led here is over! I've met the Mother of Dragons. She won't open the pits again. Well, technically, if you look into the future... If you want to fight, we offer gold and glory. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. <laughs> 
You're gonna have to show them you can fight. Oh, that's All easy. Right. Oh. Holy fuck, let's just challenge her. You? <laughs> His name is Blood Song. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. It's more oh, like an opera dancer. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Blood Song, You'll gain our respect, but no one has ever beat him. Well, you know what they say, right. there's a first time for everything. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? Look at I your own freaking hair! I'd you over to fuck, then fight you! Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there. Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. <laughs> Will you look after my uncle? <laughs> no. I'll use your queen's gold to get as far away from him as possible. <laughs> Fuck you too, Beshka. Wow, that disappointed hey, look on his face. I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Alright. What weapon do I get? You all see this cockless Westerosi? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I didn't order I kill anyone. No man I asked. Because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. That's lovely. You know why I kill a man? So he's dead and I'm alive. Let's get this over with. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the right, best blood song. win. The best would be me. What weapon? I don't even see. Who's this? The hell? A scythe? What the hell is that? That's a. What the hell is this? I'm gonna use this. Oh yeah, give me that. That one's a pretty badass. Crap, he's got skills though, I gotta give him that. Ugh. Are you ready? Westerosi? I'm ready. This is gonna hurt! Oh, going for the slash! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. Oh, oh, dodge! Oh, what you got now, huh? Only got a broom! You're not a fucking witch! Oh! Damn! For that, you die slow! What? Where, That's another weapon? weapon worthy of blood. Oh, give me that! What is that even? Oh, it's just I don't know, pokey stick? I break your face. Surprised you can lift it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come on! Hammer time, bitch! Damn. All right, last weapon. Give me that. Last chance. <laughs> the wiffle ball bat. Ouch. Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. <laughs> Let's Come give on, it a try. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Sit the fuck down. Oh yeah, knock that out of his hand. What you got now? Oh fuck, he's got his legs. Oh no. Oh. Seriously, using the damn broom? This is a pretty Ready? even fight. Westerosi! Don't hold back! Don't intend to! 
Look at this terrified boy. He fears his end. You're bleeding more than I do. What kind of chicken hold is that? This isn't wrestling. What the fuck are you doing? Come on, grab it. Oh, right in your fucking leg. How does that feel, huh? Bam. Oh, kick a man when he's down. Yeah, I'm winning. I have to kill him, don't I? For sport, he's not gonna like me after this, but I don't want to kill him. He's gonna spit on my hand or something, or kick me. The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. Oh, yeah. I told you, speech you time. Reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. Fight with me, and you will have glory and gold. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you!